Monday was a timed workout per se. We did 30 timed exercises. It was a little bit of legs, it was a little bit of obliques, it was a little bit of up body, a little bit of abs. Uh, it was our first day doing it, so it was a great way to build trust in your space and your tools and, and my voice and work out the kinks. Uh, Tuesday, again, to reiterate, was a ton of hips. Um, with our hips, we did a bunch of stretching and abs. We had uh, leg loops in the beginning, the middle, the end. But when I say legs, they weren't major legs for what you guys are used to with me. Uh, yesterday was 300 upper body reps separated by, um, again, a movement circuit to start. We had two exertion circuits between wall sits, planks, and standing scissors and runners and a bunch of stuff. And of course, everything's been right around that 45 minute mark. Today, uh, A, I'm extremely sore from doing four classes a day and I was actually trying to do most of them. <laughs> so don't be surprised if I stop and talk a little bit more and watch you a little bit more. Um, but today is going to be more leg focused. We have obliques, uh, we'll have an exertion circuit in the middle, we have our warm up circuit, we're going to have ending abs. Um, the morning crew again nailed it right at that 45 minute mark. If you don't have equipment, cool. Today you don't really need a whole bunch of equipment. Um, uh, again, you're here to be trained, so I'll be talking and training. And if you really, 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 really need something, uh, either hit me a little chat thing, which I'll try to keep my eyes on, or you can text me. I have my phone next to me with a timer, um, and I can get back to you quickly on that. Okay, here we go. When you're ready, again, hopefully you guys have been up doing something for a little while. Maybe you've done cardio, maybe you haven't. We have our six set warm up, just moving, 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 moving. We're gonna do two laps of it just to get warm and loose, and we're gonna jump right into the workout. We have our standing scissors. We've done them all week long to get loose. Here we go, only 10. 10 total standing scissors. Think about your abs, your core, and you're stretching your posterior muscles. In five, four, three, two, one, stand tall and breathe, standing runners, hands on head, don't yank your head, elbows to knees because of your body, elbows to knees because of your body, In five, four, three, two, one, and breathe, stand tall, jack the lanes, again we've been doing it, stretching, balancing, reaching, make sure you get tall please, Jack the lanes, old school exercise, stretching, nice good posture, good breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're gonna lay on the ground, you have ten slow scissors, ten slow runners, ten slow swimmers. Take your time. Here we go. Remember, I like the bigger vertical scissors. I don't like the little scissors unless you're doing something for like 30 seconds or a minute. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big deep breath. Remember, I'm always trying to be a little bit ahead of you. It's okay if you just finished runners. Remember, I don't like bicycles. I like the bigger, slower, cross your body version. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And breathe, you're gonna lay on your stomach. Again, no rush. You're laying on your stomach for your swimmers. You can be on your hands and knees too. Swimmers, right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg, 10 total swimmers. Again, you can be on your hands and knees as well. Three, two, one, breathe. Take your time. We're getting back up. We're gonna do one more loop. I know it's kind of basic. Pretend you went to the gym and you popped on the treadmill for your eight minute warm up. right? Take your time, big deep breath. Standing scissors, standing runners, Jack of lanes. Ready? Go. Four. And three. And two. And one. Big deep breath. Standing runners. Elbows and knees. One. Nice. 
No yanking heads. Nice, good posture. Three, two, one. And breathe, jack the lanes. Hands high, nice and big. Cross that body, reach. Don't be in a hurry. Feel the motion and the flexibility of the exercise. It's a posterior flexibility coordination exercise. Three, two, nice and big. One, stand tall and breathe. Shake it off, you're back on the ground for the last time for a little while. We actually don't go on the ground unless you do some ground obliques. Scissors, runners, swimmers. Ready, go. Nice right, so work on the breathing. We're just getting started. I would say yesterday was probably the hardest workout of the week. Today will be probably the second hardest. Monday was a good start, and Tuesday was a good burn. Two, one, and breathe, runners. One. And four, three, two, one, and breathe. Remember, swimmers, you can be on your hands and knees, or you can be on your stomach. Swimmers, big mobility. When you're on your hands and knees, you've got more motion, you have more balance. When you're in your stomach, you actually get more contraction. So both of them are good for you. One is more motion and balance, and one of them is more contraction. In three, two, and one, Big deep breath, grab a sip of water. Pretty, pretty please. We're gonna check in already. The Mia's there, I love it. Marsha Peter, you got the whole family affair. I like it. So, we don't need a lot of tools today, but if you do have tools, it'd be cool if it was something heavy. When we get to our obliques, which I'll talk about in a second, it's good to have load for standing obliques, but you don't need it. I'll show you all the ones you can do on the ground. So, you optionally don't have to be on the ground for a while. So, I'm gonna talk about your obliques. I'm going to give you three to choose from. Standing obliques, the weight is in your left hand, and you guys know these as TikToks. Standing obliques, you do tilt to both sides. That's an option. You can do right side up, double lateral leg lifts. That's an option. And you can do right side down, hip dips. That's an option. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, right there you go. Right side down, hip dips. Brain just turned off for a second. All three of those are more loaded obliques, right? There are other obliques for motion and balance and all the good things, but I want to think of load on the obliques. When you get to your obliques, they're always going to be 30, okay? However, we're going to do a right leg stationary lunge pyramid. Huh? Your right leg will always be moving. It won't always be working. We're going to do front to back lunges. Your pyramid will be 10, 20, 30, 20, 10 total reps. Blah, 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 blah. You guys know me. I'm here. So grab your dumbbells if you want to. Don't if you don't. Take your time. We never do things fast. Right leg only, stationary lunges, means your right leg is moving. When it moves in front of you, it is the working leg. When it moves behind you, it is not the working leg. Okay? We have 10 total, which is five each on set one, and eventually set five. Ready, set, go. Stepping forward, load your front leg. Stepping backwards, stay on your front leg. Stepping forward, stepping backwards, no rush. Five, you're pushing. Six, you're pulling. Your right leg is always moving. Your right leg isn't always working. Nine, ten, again, it's okay if you have a different number. I'm trying to be a little ahead of you. You're going to breathe. So that was easy, right? We're going to do it again for more and eventually the same. I'm going to do standing obliques this round. I will do a different oblique next round. Left hand has your heavy weight. Right side obliques. 30 reps. Go. Tick. Talk is one. Tick. Talk is two. Tick. Talk is three. We're going to do 30. If you need to stop at 22, stop at 22. Breathe. Posture. Remember, if you're on the ground already because you don't have a nice heavy weight, cool. I'll do those with you next round. It's either right side up, 
double lateral lunges or right side down hip dips. Please breathe. I'm gonna say you're hovering around 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Keep focused. Again, you're hovering probably around 20. There is no rush. I am watching. I've been doing these things all week long and getting trashed. Let's say you have about six, five, four, three, two, one. It's okay if you're not done yet, but when you're ready, you're gonna stand tall with your dumbbells. This is a right side moving circuit. Again, it's not all right side working. 20 total steps, same movement as last time, right leg is moving, ready, go. Right leg stationary forward lunge, left leg stationary reverse lunge. Remember the mentioned leg is the working leg. The right leg is moving in front of you and the right leg is moving behind you. Just because it's moving, it's not always working. Stationary lunges, front to back. We're doing 20 total, which is 10 each leg. And I'm gonna say we're gonna be on around 12, give or take. It's okay if you do a couple of extra. Mm -hmm. There's 14, 16, again, give or take, four more, three more, two more, one more. Again, it's okay if you have another rep or two. It's not about going fast. This circuit takes about 10 minutes. I got my little timer just watching it. Her pace is perfect. No rush. For some of you, it might have been a while, right? This has been a good get back into a week. For some of you, you haven't stopped. Keep going. Here we go. I'm going to do right side up double lateral leg lifts. You can do these standing obliques. You can do the hip dips. I'll do those next round. Right side is up. Double lateral leg lifts. 30 reps. Breathe. Your right side is pulling your legs up. Standing obliques is also a pulling exercise. If you're doing the right side down hip dips, that's the only pushing oblique you can do. All the other obliques that you can choose from are pulling obliques. And they're all loaded obliques. Good, keep breathing. Let's say you're 15-ish, 16-ish. Keep breathing. It's a right side circuit. I know how you guys love my math. It is 240 total right side moving reps between your legs and your obliques. Woo. I'm going to say you have about five, four, three, two, one, and relax and breathe. No rush. You're going to have a rep or two. That's fine. 30 reps is the peak of the pyramid on this right leg moving circuit. We won't do any more, we will do more less. Okay, here we go for 30 total reps, peak of the pyramid. Right leg steps, right leg moves. Right leg is working, left leg is working. Again, I'm just gonna talk to you guys as you're working out. If these are starting to bug you, we've done a 10, we've done a 20, now we're on a 30. If they're starting to bug you, just mix in some narrow squats if you need to. We did some of those yesterday. If you need to mix in some wide squats, mix in some if you need to. And those that train with me know how I spelled need, K-N-E-E-D. I don't want your knees. I want your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings. When you're on your way to 30. I'm gonna say we're hovering around 20, give or take. Nice, keep breathing. I'm gonna say you've got about six. It's okay if you do a couple extra. You got about four, three, two, one. Again, if you have a couple extra, awesome. There's no rush. Grab a quick sip of water if you feel like you're ahead of us and breathe. We have a right side oblique. Again, you can keep doing the same thing. It's either left hand, right obliques standing. It's either right side up, double ladder like this. I'm gonna do right side down hip dips. Ready, set, go. Right side 30 obliques. And I'm doing hip dips. I am pushing my body up with my right oblique. 
push. It's the only pushing oblique. Nice. And breathe. And breathe. And breathe. Keep going. I apologize about my lack of humor today. I'm a little tired. I went to bed last night about seven. And then my body woke up around one. And I dozed off again around 4.30. I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm a little tired today, brain's tired. Lots of workouts have been written. Hopefully you guys got my email about schedules. I think I need to tweak a couple things just so you know I'm really involved. Keep going, probably about six more. Let's say that, about five, four, three, two, one, big deep breath. Again, it's okay if you have a couple more. I do want the five set to 30 if you have that skills and ability. That'd be 150 right of weeks. And if you don't have the skills and ability yet, then you're gonna stop around 21. All right, here we go. Right leg again, 20 total, which is less than 30. We're on the pyramid. Here we go. Right leg again. Remember, if you don't want to do the stationary lunges or you can't do the stationary lunges, you got narrow squats, you got wide squats, and guess what? I just want some legs. You can do stiff-legged deadlifts. I don't really mix them up too much because we've been doing those other ones this week. However, if you need to, do them. Nice, 20 total steps. I'm gonna say you got about seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Stand tall and breathe. Remember, I'm just trying to be a little bit ahead of you. There is no rush. You could still be going. Cool with that. When you are ready, and there's no rush to be ready, I'm going to do standing obliques again. This is our fourth oblique of five, so we're almost done with the circuit. Left hand, right oblique. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Breathe and breathe. And breathe. This is a pulling exercise. You're pulling that weight up of the right obliques. Nice. And breathe. And breathe. Remember, you can do these standing obliques. Keep going. You can do right side up, double lateral leg lifts, right side down, hip dips. I think because we might be in this for the long haul, I might have you guys go pick up a band or two at the local workout place, playing in sports or something, so we can put the band on a door or something, or ladies, your husband can hold the bands, because what else do they do? Uh, see, I got one. Uh, and we can do a rot rotations. Anyhow, let's say you got about six more. Five, four, three, two, and one, and big deep breath. You've done 120 right obliques. You only have 30 more to go. You've done 80 legs on the right side. Only 10 more to go. Here it is, last round. 10, here's one. Same thing. Two, it's your last time doing it on this side. Clearly we need to do the other side because we're right leg pushing and we're left leg pulling. So we need to get the other side done. But we're gonna do something else in the middle. Shocker, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Big deep breath. You got one more right oblique. I'm gonna do right side down hip dips. Last right side oblique. Ready, set, go. We are pushing. We are pushing with our right obliques. And you're breathing. And you're thinking, oh my gosh. Brown is like, what the heck did I sign up for? This is crazy. And Caroline, you and I both know how light this is. However, still really good for us. And we're pushing, and we're pushing with a right oblique. And you're breathing, it's your last right oblique. I'm gonna say you got about 15, 14, 13. I love it, I love it, lots of people in here. We're at about 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, if you're already done, grab a sip of water, and five, four, three, two, and one, and breathe. Remember, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna demonstrate, 
If you need to let the dog outside, go let the dog outside. You got about 45 seconds. However, I want to get you guys ready. Your next circuit is going to be squat to calf raises, but I don't want you creating momentum. We're going to do 20 squat calf raises comboed with either 20 jump squats or 20 split jumps, or if we need to, 20 pulsating squats, and if we really need to, 20 sit like a deadlifts. But here's what it looks like. You're going to squat, come out of it, don't create momentum in calf raise. Don't be in a hurry. Squat to a calf raise. We're gonna do 20 reps of those, and then we're gonna do 20 on a combo, which you have a choice whether you can jump or not. Alrighty, we have three rounds, 20, 20 times three. We're not gonna go fast. It's about a seven, eight minute circuit. Ready? Squat to calf raise. Three, two, one. Squat, calf raise. One, squat, calf raise. Squat, get up on your toes. Squat, and breathe. Not the hardest thing in the world. We're gonna win the war with a bunch of reps. 20, 20 times three. And squeeze. You're not in a hurry. Squeeze. Play around with your feet with. Please. Squeeze. Squat and squeeze. Squeeze. Again, about seven ish. Six. Five. Four. Three. Again, give or take. Two. And one. Big deep breath. Here are your four choices. I prefer jump squats if you can. You can do split jumps if you can. If you need to, pulsating squats. And if you must, stiff legged deadlifts. Notice I didn't say straight legged deadlifts. Stiff legged deadlifts. Here we go. 20 reps, your choice. Ready, set, go. It's about halfway there, give or take. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. You might have noticed I changed my venue. I gotta get ready. Next week I'll have my kids, so my 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. class will be at home, not at the gym. You're probably gonna see my kids. Wouldn't be the first time. Here we go. Second round. Squat, calf raise again. Squat, calves. Squat, calves. Squat, get them up. Play around with your feet with. It changes all muscle activation. You have a narrower calf raise, a wider calf raise. A narrower squat and a wider squat. They're all good for you. Little changes. Go a long ways. A six ish, five ish, no rush. You could be off. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. Shake it off. Exertion circuits like yesterday, it doesn't mean you're going nuts. Non stop movement and you're working hard. You got jump squats, split jumps, pulsating squats, or stiff legged deadlifts. Ready, go. 20 reps. Yeah, the jump squat and the split jump is a plyometric. Load and impact. Pulsating squats is almost an isometric with some movement, some deviation. And again, if you need to, you are stretching all of it. You're squeezing all of it. And you're just taking it out of your knees, the least impactful. Let's say you got about six. Five, again, give or take. Four, three, two, one, and relax and breathe. And we have one more round. You're welcome. TGIT. All right, here we go. Squats, calf raise, one more time. Play with your feet. Ready, set, go. Squat and calves. Do a couple in the regular position. Do a couple in the narrower position. Do a couple in the wide position. 
Little changes go a long ways. Squat, calves. Squat, calves. Again, wide or narrow or regular squats. Little changes go a long ways. 10, give or take. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. One more split jump or jump squat or pulsating squat or step buckets. Ready, set, go. Get them back. Get them back. Go get some right now. It's Thursday. It probably feels like either Monday still or it feels like a Saturday. I love all the little Groundhog Day posts. I can also tell you guys it probably didn't hit me until this week about the stagnancy of it all and the get home at 4.30 tired, graze for three hours, and then go to sleep. <coughs> they hit me today or hit me this week. I'm going to say we're five-ish. Four ish, three ish, two ish, one ish, and breathe for a second. Grab a sip of water. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds roughly, and we're gonna be on our left side. If you guys train with me at the gym, you know I like my right sides and my left sides. We gotta get equal. Here we go. All right, breathe when you are ready. You've got the left leg moving lunge circuit, not always working. You got your left oblique circuit, and we'll go through those again between the hip dips, double lateral legus, and standing obliques. Here we go, 10 total steps. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, pushing exercise, pulling exercise. Left leg working, right leg working, eight, nine, ten, give or take, big deep breath. I'm sweating today. Whew. All right. If you do standing obliques, the weight is in your right hand. If you're laying on the ground, it's left side down hip dips or left side up double lateral leg lifts. Ready? 30 reps. Set. Go. Tick. Talk, tick, talk. Think about your left side. These are pulling exercises. The hip dips is a pushing exercise. The double lateral leg is a pulling exercise. Tick, talk, tick, talk. Breathe, breathe. I'm gonna say you're around 15. 16, Tim's probably at 28 already, love you Tim. Breathe, 10, nine, eight, seven, we might be different, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe, standing tall, you might be ready, you might not be ready. I got my weights in my hands, left, Leg again, 20 total reps. One is pushing, one is pulling. Ready, set, go. Left leg push. Left leg move, right leg pull. It's a left leg work. It's a right leg work. And if you need to, and we spelled need earlier, K-N-E-E-D, you got your narrow squats if you need to, and you got your wide squats if you need to, but I want your left leg moving to the best of your abilities. We're doing 20 total. I'm gonna say you're hovering around 13, 14, 15, 16, give or take, 17, 18, 19, 20. You're staying tall, you're breathing. Hopefully you made those adjustments on narrow squats, regular squats, wide squats, Marsha, split squats if you need to. Put your uh, right foot back on your sexy husband and you do your pulsating split squats. And yes, Peter, you are a gentleman and a scholar. Here we go, left side is up, double lateral leg. This is what I'm doing. You got left side down hip dips or your standing obliques. 
30 reps. Ready, go. And you're breathing. And you're thinking left side is working. Left is pulling your legs up. And you're breathing. And you're breathing. So many good messages. You guys have been so sweet to me in the last couple of weeks. Jeez. So many nice messages. I'm going to say you got about 12 more. And 10. And you guys, if you guys really know me, you know I am kind of a sentimental fool. I'm a lover, not a fighter. You guys have been so sweet. Thanks for acknowledging the, the hard work. <laughs> and three, two, one. And again, if you have a couple more reps, that's okay. We're going to be on the peak of our pyramid on our left leg. We're kind of on the home stretch. If you're timing the workout, you got about 12 more minutes. So you're cruising. You got your left leg moving for 30. Ready, go. Big and slow. You guys know me. I love weights. And I like comboing weights and reps. And we've always used the word increments. I don't like light 30s. I like 12 and 12 and 6. You know, but I say to you 12, 12, and 6. Why, huh? What do you mean? I love weights and reps. And I think you do too. And you're on your way to 30. You're working. It's a pushing exercise when you step forward. And it's a pulling exercise when you step backwards. Your left leg is working in front of you. Your right leg is working when your left leg is behind you. You're on your way to 30. I'm going to say you got about 10, give or take, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Again, if you have another rep or two, awesome. I'm going to do left side down hip dips. You got your left side up double outer leg dips. And you have your weight in your right hand. This is your third 30 of five. Ready, set, go. And I'm doing a pushing oblique. It is the only pushing oblique. Unless Lisa's pushing her kids out of the house. That's also a pushing oblique. And trust me, again, you gotta push those little suckers out of the house. Go dig a hole, go find some worms. Don't get your dress dirty. Well, no, get it dirty. What am I talking about? It's always so hard when you drive by the park or walk by the park and it's all taped off and the kids are like, I, I, why can't I go down the slide? What's up, dude? <laughs> all right, we're still thinking about left oblique. I'm just watching you. You're working. I'm going to say you got about 10 more. Nine. Again, if we're off, that's okay. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one, and breathe and work. Here we go. We're going down that pyramid, right? We don't do this that often, but we're repeating things and things are slow and heavy. Here we go. Left leg 20. Ready, set, go. Left leg is moving on a stationary forward lunge. Left leg is moving on a right leg stationary reverse lunge. Whenever I talk about the leg, right or left, I'm referring to the working leg. Not always the moving leg. And remember, if you need to, you have your split squats. Right, Marsha? You have split squats, which we're gonna do next week anyways. But those are the demonstration of split squats, and I'm sure you're done. And if you need to, you've got narrow squats and wide squats, you must. We're on our way to 20. I'm gonna stay here around 13, plus or minus. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. If you're not done, that's cool. I'm gonna do the loaded obliques. Right hand has it, left side is working. You can do any oblique you want. This is your fourth oblique of five. Ready, set, go. This is a pulling exercise. My left side is pulling me back up. Tick, tuck, tick, tuck. Don't look at the time. 
right? If you got to go at 945, I promise you we're going to get there. If you have a couple extra minutes, cool. We'll have this one more round to go. And then we have 100 abs to do. And then you can go back to work, right? That email will still be there. We all know that. Oh, my goodness, this little burn going on. Woo! I like it. I'm going to say we're hovering around 15, 16, 17. So I'm going to say 11, roughly 10, 9, 8, again, give or take, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Big deep breath. We only have one more round of a left leg moving and a left oblique. Here we go, it's your last legs. Ready, set, go. Left leg, it's only 10, that's five of each. There's two, there's three, there's no rush. You can mix in your narrow squats or wide squats or split squats, which again, we're gonna do those next week. And there's seven, we're almost there. Eight, and nine, and 10. Oh, see, look at that, that wasn't bad. <sighs> Again, if you're not done yet, that's fine. I'm gonna do left side down hip dips for my last oblique. It's your last oblique of the day. 30 reps. Ready, set, go. And you're pushing, and you're pushing, and you're pushing on your left side obliques. You can have your left side up, double lateral leg lifts. You could have done those right side standing the whole time, right? I wanted your obliques today. And you're pushing. Yesterday was 300 up body reps, keep going. Yesterday you had the 12 minutes of exertion. Today that middle circuit was like seven minutes, so it was an exertion circuit. All right, you're working right now, I know you are. Let's say you got about 13, 12, 11. Again, I like my reps, you did 180 each hip the other day. You got your 30 minutes of timed exercises on Monday, four, Three, two, one, and breathe. Grab a quick sip of water. A hundred abs in my world is 300 seconds. Each rep is slow and steady, so we have max six minutes. But again, it's kind of up to you in some ways. But we're not just doing hundred boring abs. They're gonna be basic. We're gonna do 10 sit-ups, 10 knees bent sit-ups, nothing magical, right? 10 toe touches, 10 reverse crunches, 10 supermans, we're gonna rest, shake it, fake it, and turn it in the re reverse order on the superman, the reverse crunch, and the toe touch. Well, I'm here, I got gotcha. you. You have 100 abs coming your way. 10 legs straight down sit-ups. Ready, go. Legs straight down sit-ups, for most people can be easier. You can get your lower back. Your body is long, your legs are torque and leverage, you've got a good foundation. So normally legs are downs are fine. When we get to our knees bent, some people struggle. You've shortened your base. You've shortened your muscle. Three, two, and one, and breathe. It's okay if we're a little bit different. Knees bent sit-ups, and we've done these. I don't like to say the word crunch. I see a lot of head movement on crunches. So if you do need a little sit-up, do a little sit-up but I want you to sit up to the best of your ability. In four, three, two, one, and breathe. You're gonna keep your legs up on your toe touches. Legs up, toe touches. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, cool, but I want your thighs to be perpendicular to the ground. I want your legs to be up. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten, and breathe. Reverse crunches. Remember, I don't say leg lifts. I want you to think about your abs moving your legs. You let your legs fall and then you squeeze your abs. Let your legs fall and squeeze your abs. Four more, roughly. Three more. It's okay if we're a little bit different. Two more. One more, and breathe. You're laying on your stomach for 10 Supermans, and then we're gonna rest for 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. Supermans is everything up. Get them 
up, upper back, middle back, lower back, glutes, get them up, four, three, two, and one, and breathe, shake it, give me a quick little stretch, I see everybody's still logged in, that's awesome, we're literally just going to reverse the order, Superman's reverse crunch, toe touch, knees bent, legs straight, no mas pantalones, here we go, 10 Superman's, ready, set, go. Work on that breathing. I put Superman's in the ab core category. A strong mobile back is a good mobile back. In three, two, one, and relax. Reverse crunches. Again, leg lifts, your legs come from the ground. Reverse crunches, your legs fall, and then you squeeze them. There actually is a difference. They're both supposed to be abs. However, I want you to lengthen your abs and contract your abs. Lengthen your abs, contract your abs. That's a reverse crunch. In three, two, and one more. Lisa, you can. Come on, Kavita. Breathe. Legs up on your toe. Touch. Touch your toes and touch your toes. Try to touch your toes. I know how hard it is because I'm not. Part leg length. Part flexibility, part tired muscles. Three, two, one, and breathe. Knees bent, sit ups. Now you're gonna figure out why we reverse the order. These are gonna be significantly harder. Knees bent, sit ups. Remember, it can be a little sit up or a big sit up. I wanna sit up, and you're gonna breathe. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and you're gonna breathe. One more to go, legs all the way down in your sit-ups. Mia, these should be easy, right? Mia, you're a core champion. You got all that mobility and flexibility. One of the best cooks probably on the planet. And you're breathing, and you're breathing. Four, three, two, and one, and breathe, and relax. Oh my goodness. Who's gonna join me at noon and three today, huh? Anybody? Oh boy, I'm gonna be in deep trouble. Alrighty, wow, good job. Um, Brianna, can you please uh, text me or email me so I can send you the workout, uh, seriousaboutfitness at gmail.com. Uh, if you're not getting my emails, please let me know. Uh, I've been emailing everybody that work out per day. Uh, it's a piece of paper, you know, work hard. Um, I, I'm gonna make a couple small tweaks based on feedback to the schedule, but if you look at this, the email, next week I added a 6 p.m. class. Uh, that's gonna be with Yvonne, Danny, Yvonne and Danny, no Friday, even though LT's isn't open. Uh, John is gonna help out a little bit on a Tuesday morning, uh, six and nine. Uh, I will be doing the Monday, Wednesday, uh, Danny on Friday. What am I doing? Monday, Tuesday. I might do Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Anyhow, I gotta take a peek at it. I'm gonna make a couple of little tweaks. But Yvonne will be there. Danny will be there. John's gonna help out with some morning stuff. Uh, 24 classes a week. Uh, somebody asked about Saturday mornings. We'll talk about that because everybody, every day is a Saturday in some ways. Uh, besides that, congratulations. Work hard.